Perfect. We're gonna do hit training number one. So today I got my weights off to the side. I'll also need an exercise mat because we're gonna get down on the floor for two of these. I lied one of these, but whatever. <laughs> So high intensity interval training or HIT. Each of these exercises, we're going to do them in quick succession. Each repetition will do 15 to 20 repetitions for the first six exercises. And then we'll have a finisher at the end. What I mean by a finisher is that we do it continuously instead of for a number of repetitions, we do it for time. However many repetitions that you can get done during that time. So first off, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna pick up my weights. I'm gonna start with hammer curls. I'm gonna do 15 to 20 repetitions. Straight up and down are the weights. Lifting at 90 degree angle, all the way up to my shoulders, and back down. You can take these as fast or as slow as you need to. While doing this one, I recommend using lighter weights. If you only have heavy weights, you could always use whatever household item that is around you that is smaller than those weights. Next, I'm gonna do skull crushers. With these, I'm only gonna use one weight. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you get a better view of this. But arms are gonna be behind my head. Basically, I just push that straight up above my head and back. This works your triceps. Wanna make sure we're not locking out the elbows when we do this. We don't wanna do any damage to that joint. And making sure that we're trying to isolate the muscle as possible. Next, we're gonna do shoulder raises. So one arm at a time, I'm gonna go straight out in front of me. So a half to one to two, making sure that I'm going up to my shoulder height. Again, you can do these as fast or as slow as you need to. Next, I'm gonna squat down. So I'm gonna use my weights. You can do these with just regular body weight. With these, I'm just squatting down, making sure that my back is straight up and down. And I'm just kind of lowering myself to the ground. With these, I wanna make sure that my knees don't go too far in front of my toes and my back is straight up and down when I do these. Next, I'm gonna do something called good mornings. With these, my legs are going to be very, very slightly bent. I just don't wanna lock them out. I'm gonna have my arms hang down in front of me. And with these, I keep those legs as straight as I can and just lower my back down to my toes. And then pulling it back up. Primarily, we're focused on the hamstrings. And with that, I really want you to think about what part of your body you're moving. And what I mean by that is I want you to think about moving your hips forward as opposed to lifting your body up. So we wanna try and focus it more on the hips than we do on the lower back. So shifting your hips forward so that your body goes straight up and down. Next are bent over rows. So arms hanging down in front of me. I'm gonna lift up to my chest, Our elbows go out to the side, squeezing my shoulder blades together. And with these, I'm going a little bit slower than I would like you to do. But for demonstration purposes, I wanna be able to show these exercises as accurately as I can. All right, you've made it to your first finisher, which is burpees. With these, we're gonna go down into a plank position and then bring our legs forward, jump up. So I'll kind of demonstrate it for you. We go down, okay, you'll do a push up, come up, lift your legs forward, up, and you'll jump straight up in the air. So we'll do this for 45 seconds. And then you'll move on to your next round of exercises. After you've completed the second round of exercises, you'll do a lunge finisher. We're gonna do side lunges, so one leg to the side, then to the opposite side. You'll do these for 30 seconds. Once 
Once you have completed that, you'll get to rest for another minute, and then you'll start your third round. Once you complete your third round, you'll do back flies for 15 seconds as fast as you can for those 15 seconds, and then you'll be completed. Back flies, just wanting to make sure that you're pulling those shoulder blades together. Elbows are going out to the side. You just complete that for a quick 15 seconds, and then you're finished with this exercise. 